Sorry, Statesman softball fans. This is the last time you'll see the Lady Statesman here at University Field in Cleveland this season. Delta State softball celebrated Senior Day with its final home series against West Florida. The series kicked off on Friday, April 25th, and in the first inning of Game 1, DSU leadoff hitter Cassidy Talley is walked, so she takes first base. Talley followed that up with her trademark stealing second on the first pitch, but this one was special. That stolen base tied Talley for the record of stolen bases in a single season at both Delta State and in the Gulf South Conference. Same inning, bases loaded and Madison Zoller's in the batter's box. She takes one for the team. Don't worry, she's okay. That brings in Tally for the score, and Delta leads 1-0. Top of the second, West Florida has runners on the corner. Zoller throws a little fake out to Taylor Holland, who goes back to Zoller, and the Lady Statesmen catch the runner, try and steal home. UWF scores three runs in this inning, but apparently doesn't learn a lesson because the exact same thing in the inning as Zoller protects the plate and gets the out. So with the Argos up 3-1 in the bottom of the second, the Lady Statesmen respond. Base is loaded for Caitlin Moore. She drops a hit in left field. Megan Mayfield scores. It's a one-run game. Amber Adcock follows that with a hit through the gap. Tally scores, and we're tied 3-3. Top of the third now. Runner on first for UWF, but Macy Wildey sits the batter down swinging. In the same inning, a two-run home run puts the Argos back on top, but Wildey's 0-2 pitch retires the side here. Bottom three now, two on, two outs for the Lady Statesman. Mariah Alvarez sends one deep to the outfield. That allows Mayfield to score. DSU only trails 5-4. Caitlin Moore follows that with a blooper to left field that gets away from the outfielder just a little bit. Tally and Alvarez score here. The Lady Statesmen are back in the lead, 6-5. More runs in the bottom of the fourth. Base is loaded again this time. Cassidy Talley uses it. She's on base. Memory poorly scores. It's 7-6 DSU. An easy one here as catcher interference is called while Mariah Alvarez is in the box. Brooke Klein scores to make it 8-9. The Lady Statesmen just keep tacking on the run. South State takes game one over West Florida 13-8. Saturday, April 26 brought senior day to University Field in Cleveland. Megan Mayfield and Miller Maddox were honored on the field before the first game of the doubleheader. Maddox got the start on the mound and sent the very first batter back to the dugout on a full count. So in the last game, Cassie Talley tied single season stolen base record. Well, in this game, she broke it. A huge congratulations from her teammates here, and Cassidy Talley is now the record holder at Delta State and in the Gulf South Conference. Lady Statesman trailing 4-1 later in the bottom of the six with two on for Amber Adcock. She hits the gap. Mariah Alvarez scores, and that makes it 4-2. Unfortunately, that's as close as Delta State gets, falling to West Florida 5-2 in the second game of the series. Uh, it's always been my dream to come here. <laughs> I, was, I always wanted to come here and it has definitely lived up to my expectations. I wanted to be here. I've always been a fan of Delta State. I've always been a fan of all of the sports programs here. And just to be a part of it is so special to me. Like today, I don't have family for senior day, but um, the team is my family. And uh, so I, I just learned a lot about that. And just growing up and coach puts a lot of responsibility on you and she expects you to act, you know, act your age, act like you're in college. and. Like, I really learned that, and I think I'm more prepared to go, like, graduate and be a big girl now that I came here. I don't think I would have gotten that anywhere else. Miller Maddox joined us uh, after playing at a couple other schools, and um, we really didn't know what she would do for us. And when I handed her a plaque and, and hugged her, you know, I told her that she's really been a huge difference maker for us. If we wouldn't have had her this year, and we wouldn't have had her last year, I think uh, the end of our seasons go completely different. So, great kid. Great family, going to get married soon. I love the whole concept of her medical school. Uh, believes in the program, always excited, uh, very sportsmanlike, and uh, she's a good person, and that's that's what's, and she's a good person, one, and number two, what she's done out here is irreplaceable. So uh, very happy and proud of her. And then Megan Mayfield, um, you know, she went to a couple of different schools as well before she got here, and I really believe that she found a home when she got here. Um, she could play anywhere in the outfield. She's played all three. Um, she recently stepped up here. You know, when someone got hurt, she, she plays on and off. She stepped up here when someone got hurt last week, and she went 4-4-4 four, four, four last night, made the difference in the game. Um, she stepped up to the challenge, and, and this game is about who steps up to the challenge, and she did that. Uh, her parents couldn't be here today, but, you know, she's a great kid, very excited, very emotional. Um, I'm just glad. Uh, I'm glad every year that we get to share this experience, and I get to be a part of it with these kids. 
The third and final game is tied 2-2 in the fifth, but the Lady Statesmen change that. Base is loaded for Andrea. Cuts with two outs and a full count. That error brings home Taylor Holland and Madison Zoller to give DSU a 4-2 lead. Delta State scores again and outlasts a seventh inning rally from West Florida to win game three, 5-4. It's what you play for and it's what makes uh, playing this game exciting. Um, I think these kids deserve it and they work hard. And I think they're playing like a team. Uh, I think they did yesterday, I think they did in game three. I wouldn't say we did this morning, but playing like a team and good, thing ha good things happen when you do that and they're just working hard. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get it done and sometimes it's pretty and sometimes it's not. And uh, I'm just, I'm glad we got it done. So the Lady Statesmen win two of three in this series. And next up is the Golf South Conference Tournament. For GoStatesmen.com, I'm Katie Smith.